Two days ago, a grand jury investigation confirmed what some survivors of sex abuse say they have known for decades. The report on abuse in Pennsylvania says Baltimore's longtime Catholic leader, the late Cardinal William Keeler, failed to report crimes against children. Well, WJZ is live right now at the Cathedral of Mary, our Queen. Kimberly Eaton explains what comes next following these explosive revelations. Kimberly? And Denise, the statute of limitations has run out on almost all of those crimes. But a survivor of sex abuse here says the Archdiocese of Baltimore could begin to right past wrongs by opening up their files on similar cases and cover ups in Baltimore. Nothing can restore what was taken from me. Liz Murphy is faithful, forgiving, and seeking change within the Catholic Church and the Archdiocese of Baltimore. Decades after a teacher sexually abused she and other students at the Catholic Community School in the 1970s, while school administrators failed to report the crimes happening in classrooms. Then teacher, now convicted child rapist John Mersbacher is in prison, serving four life sentences, but still, the dominoes continue to fall. Those of us who worked and knew the Cardinal are struggling to reconcile the, the man we knew or thought we knew with the person we read of in this report. Tuesday, a Pennsylvania grand jury released a 900 page report detailing decades of widespread sex abuse by priests and naming the late Cardinal William Keeler as one of the men of God who was aware of the crimes and failed to report them. Instead, shifting predator priests to new roles. Exactly what Murphy says happened with the school administrators and religious who knew that Mersbacher was attacking students. She spent a lot of her life trying to make sure it doesn't happen again. We're not people whose names are ever going to be engraved in stained glass windows or carved on cornerstones or have buildings named for us, but we will be the people who are crying out from underneath the bricks and mortar that they built. For years, she wrote letters to Cardinal Keeler, finally meeting with the longtime Catholic leader after her rapist trial. What came of it? She says nothing. They need to make amends, and amends, part of making amends is to change their behavior. And I don't see the behavior changed. Now, with the files cracked in Pennsylvania, she would like to see the same happen here for the Archdiocese to bring any sins of the past to the public eye. So I said in here is how can you who proclaim so loudly your love for this thorn crowned Jesus run so cowardly from your cross or hide it in a vault? And the Vatican did address the Pennsylvania investigation today, describing the accusations as, quote, criminally and morally reprehensible. Reporting live in Baltimore, I'm Kimberly Eaton for WJZ.